today we are going to talk about mourning and grief we're going to talk about being sad how does it work how do you function how do you move on all of that good stuff and i think when it comes to grief and mourning I think they can apply more than one way than the death of someone. I think that you can grieve and mourn the death of relationship and opportunity because I think that a type of death does take place. Just allowing the time healing is always necessary, you know? And I also think when it comes to mourning and grief, we can talk about time. How long does it take? When should I be happy all the time or all of that? And I think one thing need to remember and to be mindful of that it is perfectly okay to be really really sad and really really happy all at the same time i think that that is just one of the beautiful things about how god created us about how he made us that we can celebrate and mourn at the same time and we don't allow mourning or grief to rob us of joy or happiness in this life but in the same vein we don't allow joy to rob us of mourning and grief you should not feel guilty when you're sad you shouldn't be guilty when you're happy and you need to give yourself time as much time as you need don't rush the process but don't sit in it too long and i think that that just takes wisdom because everybody is different there is no cookie cutter thing to grief and mourning and how does it look like and what's acceptable and what's not acceptable i mean everybody is going to grieve in their own way they're going to use their own outlet because that relationship was different for every single person so the outpouring of that grief and the mourning is going to be different based on the person and i think that a lot of times in the church we just have this oh well, get over it you're strong enough god is faithful so you're okay and everything's going to be okay yeah in hindsight of course everything is going to be okay but sometimes we got to give people room give them space let them be sad let them feel what they're feeling let those emotions work themselves out and i think that strength a lot of times is just misconstrued it takes genuine and sincere strength to know your limits to know your boundaries to let yourself fall apart to let yourself cry it's not a bad thing it's a god designed and ordained thing um so just embrace that enjoy that one thing i heard from a really good friend of mine was sit in the ashes and let god make something beautiful from it uh, it's just like this sorrow and this grief it teaches you something and for me, in the passing of my father, it's teaching me to slow down. But at the same time, like, slow down, but live a life that causes you to forget what fear feels like. So, don't feel guilty, don't feel bad, and don't shame other people for their sadness or for their grief. Let them feel what they're feeling, you know? Like, you don't know what it's like for them like you can relate you can have sympathy you get up going through something similar but you never fully understand what someone is going through never you will never fully understand what someone is going through because their entire life their entire makeup affects how they go through something and you haven't gone through the same thing you're not made of the same thing that they're made of and you haven't gone through the same thing you're not them so there's no way that you could possibly understand. So give yourself space, give yourself time, but give other people space and give other people time. And grief and mourning is teaching me patience. It's teaching me patience. It's teaching me a lot of things. Um, and I just hope that I will allow myself the time to go through it, but also the time to really open my eyes and learn everything that I'm supposed to be learning during this time. So yeah, I'm Jazzy and that is my little piece on grief and mourning. So live in peace, grieve in peace, peace.